Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights Over Arkham. This time uh, we are concluding the return to the Night of the Sail of the campaign with the brand new investigators from the Edge of the Earth expansion. And uh, we first off did some deck upgrades with the 6xp we received from the Return to the Midnight Mass scenario. Uh, let's see what uh, upgrades we did before heading into the Devourer below. First off, we have Bob. So, not many changes into the deck. Uh, I removed one backpack and uh, also one bandages. I haven't played the bandages yet and I feel uh, they are not that mandatory and the backpack not that great in uh, Bob but better in uh, Lily. So we left Bob without a backpack for now. Uh, I replaced uh, one of the cars with Eon Chart. It is a new uh, level 4 XP Rogue or Seeker card, so Bob is eligible to take it. And it has three secrets on it. It is an item relic and uh, a fast triggered ability. During your turn, exhaust Eon Chart and spend one secret. Choose and take two of the following actions in any order. Move, evade or investigate. So this is a pretty powerful uh, action complete. Oh, compression card, so hoping it will serve uh, Bob well for uh, investigating multiple times or doing some form of a combination of those uh, actions. And the uh, uh, second card I upgraded was another Ethereal Slip, so uh, this will help us get out of uh, sticky situations in. Uh, uh, the Arkham Woods locations or when the main path is crowded with enemies so Bob might get past those enemies or switch places so that they are not all of the in the same place. We will see how this work. Next up we have Lily. So uh, Lily also got six experience so we didn't we weren't able to get 15 experience to trigger Lily's uh, ability to take another discipline. So unfortunately we won't be seeing another one because it, uh, uh, the threshold is 15 experience if I remember correctly. Uh, what we end up doing was to remove the ropes of Endless Night. Uh, these are a good uh, damage soak but uh, costly damage soak so I decided to go all in on a big weapon from the new set, so uh, picking the Cyclopean Hammer. So this lets us fight and add our willpower to the skill val value of this attack. I uh, This deals plus one damage, and uh, if you succeed and the enemy is non-elite, you may move it to one location away from you, so we can smash enemies away from us, to from the main path, for example, to the Arkham Woods locations to clear a path then um, if we succeed by three or more we deal plus two damage so this would deal three damage so quite a powerful weapon and uh, the last card is another copy of on the trail so uh, this is just to help us uh, maybe fast track to enemies to help our Bob if needed or something like that but I really couldn't think of anything useful to play uh, to add with the one XP, at least from the new cards. So I tried. Uh, I'm trying out the new cards here. So uh, that is basically all of the changes in the decks. Um, next up, uh, we are ready to start. The only thing we need to do for the setup is to add. Uh, Elder Thin Token into the bag, add two Doom to the agenda because we uh, had three uh, cultists that were uh, not interrogated. So we have uh, Wolfman Drew, Peter Warren, and Victoria Devro. So these three will make an appearance later. And that is it. So we are ready to begin. So let's get started.
Okay, we are ready to start, so let's draw our opening hands. I will start from Bob. So, five cards, we get um, untimely transaction, uh, 21 or bust, times two, block picks for the first time, and uh, hits me. So, I'm definitely keeping the lock picks. Uh, I'm not sure, I, I think I'm looking for more items to play, so we'll mulligan those four. We'll get the uh, pocket, uh, pocket telescope for the first time, uh, shrewd dealings. The Derringer and Black Market. So, first off, I'm pretty sure I will play the Shrewd uh, Dealings because uh, reduce the cost of each item asset you play by one. And uh, action when you play an item asset, play it under the control of any investigator at your location. So, we can play item assets under the control of other investigators. So, even then, uh, Lily can take. Uh, weapon assets, we could play the Derringer un under Lily. But we'll see how the uh, first turns develop. So, put Bob's cards there. Then we'll draw Lily's cards. Uh, we get uh, Healing Words, Arcane Initiate. Uh, we reshuffle that one. Uh, Dragon Pole and Double drawn to the flame. So, I think. <laughs> I uh, will keep those two. I'm uh, actually keeping the whole hand for now. So we can play the Healing Words and Dragon Pole and Arcane Initiate and start looking for more spells to fire up the Dragon Pole and then start investigating with the Drone to the Flames. Okay, so quick shuffle to Lily's cards and we're ready to begin. So, um, I think we'll start with Bob. So, Bob will first off uh, play the Shrewd Dealings. Second action, uh, we'll play an item asset. So, we'll play the lot picks and uh, all of the item assets you play uh, by one. Okay, so. Uh, this only costs two. Then uh, let's just double check. So Lily will um, reveal that uh, she is holding the dragon pole. That is the only item asset uh, she has. So Bob will use the extra action to play that, spending one resource here. And I'm just double checking. So I am playing the item asset. So uh, we are cheapening it by one. So we put the uh, dragon pole into play. And last action. Let us think for a moment. Maybe mm, Bob could just enter the first location to be ready to start uh, investigating next turn so uh, let's move over here so we find uh, arkham woods the twisting paths so three shroud location with one clue force when you move out of this location test uh, intellect three if you fail cancel the effects of the move so luckily bob is a pretty good intellect character so uh, we better stay out of that location really there are two clues there. So that was Bob's turn. We go to the Lily's uh, turn. So first action, we will play the Arcane Initiate. It comes into play with one Doom. Actually, uh, let's cancel that because uh, we don't want to trigger the uh, advancement next turn if we can uh, manage not to. So I'll just actually uh, play the healing words and uh, that comes into play with uh, two charges second action Lily will go investigate this or, or move into this location it is the Arkham Woods tangled ticket so it's a two shroud location with one clue 
per investigator. This location is investigated using the um, strength or, or combat instead of the skills indicated by the investigation attempt. So uh, I think we are uh, saving the uh, draw to the flames and Lily will just investigate uh, four versus uh, five versus uh, two. So we are up by three. It is a skull, and skull is an X. X is the number of monster enemies in phase, so it's a zero. So Lily is able to grab one clue. And that is the first turn. We ready up the cards. And uh, both get a card. So flashlight and uh, backpack. And both gain a resource. So that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom to the agenda. Uh, Lily's encounter card is Chill from below. Test uh, will 3. For each point you fail by, you must discard one card at random from your hand. For each uh, card you cannot discard, take one damage. And uh, I am testing 3 versus 3. I think I won't boost this in any way. Because we want to play the arcane initiate and hopefully get uh, keep that in hand. So uh, we get a zero, so we pass, so everything's okay. Bob's card is uh, Grave Eater. So it uh, comes into play, engage with Bob. Uh, I think Bob can try to uh, defeat it on, on his own. So we'll just mark it like so. And that is the mythos phase, so we'll go to the investigation phase, so... Mm. Or, uh, I think we could uh, try to evade with Bob. That actually sounds like a good idea. So, I'll start with uh, Lily. So, Lily will investigate. Now, uh, we'll start with Bob, because we want to guarantee that Bob can... Uh, Evade. So first action evade. Uh, I am evading three versus two. Nothing to boost the uh, action week. So hopefully we can manage. It's an elder sign. So actually I think this is the first elder sign we draw from Bob. So it's effect plus one for each item as you control, and we control one. So it's a plus one. We are able to evade this guy. Second action we are investigating with the lockpix. Uh, let's back up. So, we will actually play the uh, pocket telescope. So, I'm using this to cheapen it by one. And I'm using the extra action. Then, uh, yeah, that was the second action. So we'll move out of here. We are testing. I'm actually discarding the flashlight. So five versus three. Minus two. We are just able to get out of there. And uh, last action, I will use the pocket telescope to investigate a connecting location. This means I can't... Uh, I've actually, free trigger ability, I will exhaust the pocket telescope to uh, look at the revealed side of a connected, connecting unrevealed location. So I'm just scouting ahead. So uh, that Location is Arkham Woods Old House. This location is investigated by willpower instead of the skill indicated by the investigator attempt. Uh, so I think that is a job for Lily and the Drone to the Flame. Then uh, I'll use the pocket telescope to investigate here. Uh, we are investigating 4 versus 3. 
it's a skull and it's a number of monster enemies in play, so it's minus one, so we are still able to grab one clue from there. That is the bo uh, Bob's turn. Uh, we'll go to Lily. So we're investigating investigating uh, uh, five versus two, because we are investigating with combat here. Minus three, that is still enough to grab the clue. Oh yeah, and we need six clues to advance. Second action, Lily will move over here, and last action, Lily will head here, because we know that this is a good place for Lily to go get some clues. With the drawn to the flame next turn. That is our um, investigation phase. Uh, we'll go to the enemy phase. Nothing happening in the enemy phase. We'll go to upkeep. Be ready up. Actually, uh, let's back up. I meant to play the Arcane Initiate this turn, so we'll do that. Sorry for backtracking, but uh, it is what it is. We want to play it so that we don't get the penalty from the uh, Doom. So we are also searching for a spell. Uh, Spirit Tactic Trick, spell, spell. I think we take the Clarity of Mind. And that is our uh, turn with Lily. So a bit of backtracking, but we know that we are heading there next turn. Okay, and uh, now we uh, did the enemy turn, we go to upkeep, so we're ready up. Draw cards, uh, Bob gets um, Scoffer's catalog, Lily gets uh, read the signs, and both get resources. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are the Doom, so the agenda advances. So, uh, Death to the Intruders. Uh, shuffle the Encounter, discard pile into the Encounter deck and discard cards from the top until a monster enemy is discarded. Spawn that enemy at the main path, then place one Doom on that enemy. So good thing we stayed here with Lily, because now we are able to kill off that enemy with Lily easily. So I'm shuffling the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. I will discard cards until we hit a monster enemy. And we immediately hit the Acolyte of Umordo, so that is engaged with us. But um, pray first cards in hand, so it spawns here. So uh, Bob has the fewest cards in hand, so it's actually engaging Bob. And that is uh, not a problem at the moment, because Lily needs to play one more spell to activate the Dragon Pole, and then we can start hitting the Acolyte. So. Uh, we still need to resolve the Mythos phase, so uh, Bob get um, well, first Lily gets a card, uh, Umar does Sprat, test will power 5, for each point you fail by, you must either choose one choose and discard a card from your hand, or take one damage and one horror. <coughs> so, I think I will not commit anything. I'm testing, uh, well, um, uh, Bob doesn't have anything to commit. Okay, uh, we'll not commit anything and hope for the best. So, 3 versus 5, minus 1, so we fail by 3. So, I'm discarding the backpack. Uh, 1, read the signs, and I'll take 1 damage and 1 horror. I'll take the horror here, damage here. And that is the turn for Li uh, or the mythospace for Lily. Uh, Bob's card is. We'll just discard this first. Uh, Ancient Evil, so we'll just add the Doom. And that is it. So the threshold is 5. And uh, I think this turn we'll just murder the acolyte and start investigating more. 
So we'll start with Lily. Uh, we'll use two resources to play the Clarity of Mind. Uh, this activates the Dragon Ball. We'll uh, get plus two from the Dragon Ball. We'll hit the Acolyte. Uh, we are hitting 5, 6, 7 versus 3. <laughs> it is an auto fail. Sorry, Bob. Uh, didn't mean to hit you there. Uh, we'll try again. Oh, yeah, this is uh, ready. Okay, uh, let's see if we can manage to even hit the Acolyte. It is an Elder Sign, so. Uh, we hit, uh, we don't have anything to flip, so this uh, enemy takes two damage, so Bob needs to take care of it. Uh, we'll start with Bob, so I will uh, discard this to hit. So, uh, hitting uh, four versus three, hopefully we can manage to kill this off. It is a minus one, so we managed to deal one damage here, and this enemy is defeated. That was pretty close. Um, well, first time uh, that Lily misses, so first time for everything. I will uh, play down the Scoffer's Catalog and uh, use the extra action for that. So, one from here and one from here. No, uh, it is cheaper because of this, so we'll actually use the Lily's resource. Lily doesn't need resources at the moment anymore, and uh, that uh, Scoffer's Catalog gets on, uh, five secrets on it, so now we can use that as resources. Uh, then we will uh, use uh, as a free action to look for uh, the unrevealed side of this location, so it's the Arkham Woods uh, Wooden Bridge. After you reveal a Chaos token from the Chaos pack during an evasion attempt at this location, reveal and resolve an additional Chaos token, limit once per test. So, uh, I think Lily will go there or Bob will try to investigate from afar. Mm. Uh, now Bob will use the telescope to investigate this location. And uh, it is a zero, so we grab this clue. And uh, last action. Uh, I think we'll take a risk and, well, Bob just moves here. We still need two clues, but I think we want to get all of the clues before we advance. Uh, that is the Investigation phase, we'll go to the um, enemy phase, nothing happens in the enemy phase, upkeep. Uh, Bob gets uh, another pocket telescope, Lily gets a hallowed mirror. Bob gets resources. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Actually, uh, just double checking, so... So, because we didn't reveal this from Lily's hand, so uh, Bob couldn't use the resource from here. So, we're just back backtracking and putting the one resource to Lily. And that is correct now. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we had a Doom. Two of five. Encounter card for Lily is Rotting Remains. Test will about three. For each point you fail by, take one horror. I think I am. Mm, I'm committing the. No, I'll, I'll keep the hell of mirror. So if I fail, I'll take some horror. That's no big deal. It's a uh, elder thing token minus five. If there is an agent one enemy play, reveal another token. There isn't. So unfortunately, we fail by three. So I've, I really don't need the arcane initiate anymore. So that goes away. And we'll take two horror on Lily. Well, that was a horrible rotting remains. Uh, Bob gets 
Fill from below. Test fill power 3. For each point you fail by, you must discard one card at random from your hand. For each card you cannot discard second damage. I have nothing to boost that with. Uh, Lily is in another location. It's a skull. It's a minus one. So uh, we fail by three, uh, two. So we have to discard two cards. I'll discard these. We don't need them. And uh, uh, that is the mythos phase. Uh, we'll go to the investigation phase. So first action, Lily moves here. Uh, two clues here. Second action will play Drawn to the Flame. So now uh, we'll get down and cut the card. It is Umarder Dots Wrath. Test will power 5. For each point you fail by, you must either choose and discard a card or take one damage and horror. I think uh, we are testing uh, 3 versus 5. It's a zero, we failed by two. Uh, I think I'll discard the Hell of Mirror and take one damage and one horror. And we'll get these two clues. And uh, we could advance, but I think I'm doing it at the end of the round. Last action, I will move. Back to the main path. So we are ready there. And that is the whole turn uh, for Lily. We'll go to Bob. So Bob will use the. This should be ready again. So Bob uses the lockpicks. Uh, we'll investigate. 7 versus 3. It is a zero. Uh, we won't lose any of those. Uh, we'll investigate again. Uh, four, uh, four versus three. Another zero. And last action. Uh, we'll move here. And we don't have anything to play with the extra action, so. Nothing gets played, and uh, the enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, we draw cards, uh, Derringer and uh, Sledgehammer, both get resources, then uh, I will advance, so we'll spend uh, four clues from here, four clues, uh, two clues from here. And put the set aside ritual site into play if it's not already in play. So it's a collection for each enemy recorded in your camp by log under cultists who got away and spawn those enemies at the main path. So we'll get the ritual site in play. And we'll get these enemies in play. So Victoria Devereux. Peter Warren, Wolfman Drew. So we can spend two clues parlay next turn with uh, Bob. Then uh, I think uh, Lily will try to defeat Wolfman Drew, and we have to defeat uh, Victoria Devereux later. So uh, Lily uh, engages Victoria and uh, Wolfman Drew and Bob will uh, take Peter Warren. Mark them like so. And uh, that is the that turn. So that happened in at the upkeep. Uh, phase or at the end of the well when at, after the at the end of the enemy phase so those guys won't do anything so that is that turn uh, let's 
go after we ready everything. Yeah, so let's go to the next turn. Now we add a doom, uh, three of five. Uh, Lilies and counter card is uh, disciple of the devourer, and uh, Lily doesn't have any clues, so we don't lose any clues. Fortunately, this guy spawns at uh, the farthest location with one doom, so just place it over there. Then uh, uh, Bob's card is Mask of Umar Doth, and attached to the farthest cultist enemy, so we'll put it on, on this guy. So that is okay. And that is the Mythos phase. We'll go to the Investigation phase. So, first action, we will parlay Peter Warren. I'll spend the two clues. Uh, Peter Warren goes to the victory display. Second action, uh, we will. We will just move to the ritual site, so... At the end of the round, if there are fewer than two clues per investigator on ritual site, add clues to it until it has two clues per investigator on it. Uh, wait a minute, I forgot to read this. So if an investigator enters ritual site, advance, so we will advance. So shuffle the encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck. Uh, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until one enemy is discarded. Two enemies instead, if there are three or more players in the game, spawn each discarded enemy at ritual site. So, okay, well, I think Bob jumped the gun here, but it is what it is. Hopefully we get something easy that Bob can aid. So, uh, let's check, shuffle the encounter, discard pile. Okay. And uh, we discard until we hit an enemy. Uh, we get an easy one, so Grave Eater, that is, I think that is okay, so... Okay, yeah, this went into this card. Okay. So, uh, that enemy spawns here on Bob. So, uh, Bob's last action is to just evade this guy. Evading three versus two. It's a minus one. So this is evaded. That is Bob's turn. Uh, Bob will actually cheapen this and play this down. So next turn Bob can kill that goal. Okay. Oh yeah, it's only two. Enough. So this gets discarded, but I think we don't need it anymore. That is Bob's turn. Uh, so uh, Lily's turn. We'll hit uh, Wolfman Drew. Uh, we are hitting uh, 7 versus 4. Minus 1. Uh, so 2 damage. Second action. Again, hitting with uh, 7 versus 4, 0, and uh, that defeats Wolfman Drew. Put it into the victory display. Last action, I will evade Victory Devro. Actually, let's just hit it. Uh, so. Uh, hitting Victoria Devro uh, 7 versus 3. It's a skull, it's a minus 2. So we still hit and deal 2 damage. Next turn we can defeat Victoria. Uh, we'll go to the enemy phase. So uh, this is evaded. Victoria hits for 1 damage. Put it um, here. That is it. So upkeep. 
be ready up. So this stays here, this stays here. And that is that. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, so we actually advance. So five of uh, five, because the cultist was in play. Okay, so each enemy gets plus one fight and plus one evade, but I think we were still way over with the uh, fightings there, and I think I'm pretty sure Bob was able to evade. Okay, well, if I missed played, then I did, but it is what it is. So let's see. Uh, in play order, each investigator must test willpower 6, each investigator who fails must search the collection for a random basic madness and add it to his or her hand. Okay, uh, this might screw us over, but we'll see. Uh, first of Lily, I think I won't uh, commit anything to the test. So, uh, we fail. If there is a monster enemy at your location, take one damage, there isn't, luckily. But we still get a random uh, madness weakness, which I have here. Okay, so quick shuffle to this. Just pick one at random. Let's be that one. So, Amnesia. Choose and discard all but one card from your hand. Well, bye-bye, uh, Sledgehammer. And uh, this goes there. Then Bob's turn, uh, we are testing 2 versus 6, so pretty sure we'll fail. It's a 0, we still fail, so again, shuffle. And uh, random madness is... Na narcolepsy, <laughs> oh no! Uh, multiplayer, only put narcolepsy into play in your threat area, you cannot take action, trigger abilities, or play cards, wake up. Discard narcolepsy post after you take damage or horror discard narcolepsy. So Bob is sleeping at the moment, so that is not good. Okay, and then we need to resolve the mythos phase to the end. So uh, Lily gets a card, Ancient Evils. Bob gets a card. It is Umarodot's Hunger. Each investigator must discard one card at random from his or her hand. Each investigator who has no cards in his or her hand is killed. Uh, heal one damage from each enemy in play. So, Bob is killed. Goodbye, Bob. <laughs> that is brutal. So, let's read it again. Each investigator must discard one card at random from his or her hand. Each investigator who has no cards in his or her hand is killed. Heal one damage from each enemy in play. So, totally forgot this damn card existed. So, Bob has no cards in hand and is defeated. So, that is the end of Bob. So, I think... Uh, I think uh, we are pretty screwed. So, let's see. Um, we, our only hope is to draw into... Uh, Lita, and when uh, Umar Dot spawns, uh, throw Lita on Umar Dot to beat the scenario. So let's see how we do. Uh, Lily's first action, we will just hit Victoria the Bro. We are fighting, uh, now we remember it's... So... Not this one. So forced, uh, when this agenda advances, if the investigators are uh, one... If in the SGR attack 2 or 3, discard all enemies at the ritual site and spawn the Sita site Umar dot there. So the enemies don't have plus one attack anymore. So we are hitting uh, 7 versus 3 plus 1. So that is enough to defeat Victoria. Okay. Uh, now we just start looking for uh, Lita. So, second action, draw a card. Last action, draw a card. 
and uh, no enemy actions we go to upkeep we draw a card we gain one resource so these are going to be quick turns where we just try to uh, get find litter because uh, the other way to win is uh, if there are two clues per investigator on this act and we are, the only way to get those there is to spend one clue test willpower and Lily probably won't be able to get all of the clues and uh, not don't doesn't have a good willpower so probably won't be able to put them onto the act in time so we just try to find uh, Lita at this moment so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add a doom two of five encounter card is uh, frozen in fear okay uh, well uh, it doesn't cost us extra actions to draw cards so first action we will just draw a card through the gates and we lose on the trail so so we search our deck and discard pile for the other one and lucky we have to shuffle because Lita was near the bottom of the deck, so hopefully we are lucky enough to put it somewhere more up to the top with the shuffle. So that is that. So through the gates, really annoying card, so... Okay. Let's see, uh, second action, we draw again, or keep it there, okay, so we draw another sweeping kick, last action we draw, uh, talisman of protection, not that useful, and enemy face, nothing happens, upkeep, we draw a card, we find Lita, so we are set to face more off, and we gain one resource, so that is that turn, no enemy actions, we'll go to uh, up, keep we ready, we draw card, gain resource, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, 3 of 5, and count the card is. It is a corpse taker spawn for this location, at the end of the mythos phase, place one doom, and corpse taker, at the end of the enemy phase, corpse taker moves on towards river town or main path. If Corpse Taker is already in Rivato or Main Path, then uh, it moves Doom. Okay, so we'll just spawn it. Let's spawn it over here. So, can actually this turn just move in, kill it, move back. And it gets a Doom at the end of the middle space. Our first action, we'll move here. This guy engages us. Our second action, we'll hit. Actually. Okay, back up. First action will play Lita. Second action will move. In engages us. Last action will hit. So hitting with the Dragon Ball. Uh, 7 versus. What is it? Uh, 4. Okay, 7 versus 4. 0. Uh, it is a monster, so we deal 3 damage with Lita. Uh, actually, we are hitting an 8 versus 4. So this is defeated. And that is it. Mm, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a card. We get uh, with signs. Gain one resource. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah. Um, let's back up a bit. So, we had the Frozen in Fear play last turn or, or the turn before so let's try to get rid of it before the last turn so uh, I would be testing uh, three versus three so I'm using these two which I had in hand to go five versus three it is enough so this wasn't in play last turn okay uh, we'll add a do Encounter card is Mordor's Wrath test uh, will power 5 for each point you fail by you must either choose one choose and discard a card from your hand or take one damage and more 
just test it and testing 3 versus 5 minus 2 so 1 versus 5 so we lose 4 cards 1 2 3 4 okay uh, first action will move here second action will draw a card a burden destiny okay so you must either choose one flip a discipline you control or take one damage or we can just flip the discipline it's okay and last action we will draw a card this is only because we don't want to get killed for the one damn weakness this isn't important so uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep we draw a card we gain one resource that is that turn let's go to the next turn Okay, uh, we add a doom, so uh, we'll advance. Okay, so uh, if the investigators are at Act 2 or 3, discard all enemies at the ritual site. So this goes away. And spawn the set aside Umordoth there. So this flips. Uh, revelation. Replace the current act on the agenda with the devourer, devourer below. This card is both the act and the current agenda objective. If Umordoth is defeated, re, uh, resolution 2. So just put this into play here. So uh, these are discarded. We have Umordoth underneath here. And this gets uh, added to Umordoth. So uh, Umordoth is a uh, 5 fight, 6 health, uh, uh, 6 evade, ancient 1 elite, hunter massive, armor that get plus 4 health per investigator, so plus 8. Um, cause at the end of the each investigator's turn, ready armor dot. If you control Lita Chandler uh, action, it's only after her you throw Lita to armor dot in order to spare your life, so resolution 3. So I think we are doing that. Uh, that is the agenda advancing, so we'll still get an encounter card, and it is rotting remains. So testing uh, willpower. I'll commit this. Uh, get over here and talisman of protection. So six versus three. It's uh, minus three. If there is a monster enemy at the location, take one damage. There isn't, so we'll pass this. First action will move here. Uh, Umordor is a massive, so it engages us. Second action, we will throw Lita Chandler at Umordor. And that is the game. So, uh, we get resolution 3. In your campaign log, record that the investigator sacrificed Lita Chandler to Umordor. Each investigator suffers two physical trauma and two mental trauma as the mere. The mere sight of Umordor has taken its toll on his or her body and mind. The guilt over sacrificing Lita forever haunts your memory. Each investigator must search the collection for a man random madness weakness and add it to his or her deck. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. And it is 3 because we defeated the cultists. Uh, the investigators have survived but their actions weigh heavily on their consciousness. So... <laughs> Just to humor myself, I will draw one random madness and we'll get uh, kleptomania. <laughs> okay, so Billy is a kleptomaniac and uh, well, we need to have a well, if we would continue, we need to continue as a multiplayer campaign because that is a multiplayer weakness. But yeah, that was uh, the return to. Uh, Knight of the Zealot with Lily Chen and Bob Jenkins, two of the new investigators that come in the Edge of the Earth Investigator expansion. Hope you guys liked the playthrough and the new uh, investigators. Uh, as always, the links to the decks are in the video description. Uh, I encourage you to try out earlier campaigns with the new box whenever you get it. It's really fun to play with new cards, even if you're playing the old scenarios. You can really focus on playing with the new cards and not focusing mainly on the 
new scenario cards. So that makes you play better with the new cards at hand because there are a lot of new cool um, mechanics to explore. So thanks for watching and until next time.